Welcome back to part 18 of my Western Roman Empire Let's Play, Total War Attila. So, picking things up, we left them last time. We are at the start of a new turn, although we have gone through and spent all my money. We're going to fight some battles, and we're also going to make peace this episode. Um, in fact, we'll kick off by making peace before I forget to do that. The Morians are now keen to peace out with us. Uh, high chance. So let's see if we can throw in... Mm, I want to just throw that at them just in case. No, low chance. Because trade would have been nice. Uh, okay, let's give me some money then. Give me some money. Give me 1,800. Nope. Okay, let's work it out. Haggle heart. 1,300. Let's try that. Okay. I mean, actually, maybe we'd be better to get a non-aggression pact. But they are not interested. Okay, fine. Um, I reckon... I reckon we can do it for the bargain of 999. Boom. Job done. Right. We finally got rid of one of our enemies. Huzzah. Uh, they are improving. Maybe eventually we'll be able to get a trade agreement with them. But um, yeah, it's a, it's a long road to that. And I'll deal with that rebellion. His palace here. We've, we've gained a bit of breathing room in uh, Spania now. Uh, we can use that to yeah, repair those bits over there. That's good. We'll save the rest of our money. Not there's a lot we can do. I could throw in some more combatant spears over here, actually. So yeah, I'm going to do that because we need to we need to shore up this army so that it, if even if it's a even if it's a weak stack of just like spear spam, that will be great for dealing with the uh, the various rebels that keep popping up. We've got Britannia to deal with, but before we get over to that, I want to just clear a path to break the uh, Western Roman separatists. So we need to take these guys out first. They're going to run. And in fact, uh, yeah, I don't even need to worry about the Illyrians now because we can go hit these guys. So we're going to hit the settlement because these guys are outside. If we attack them, they'll probably run. Mm, they may not do, but yeah, we'll attack the settlement. We the there we settlement. go. So we will fight this one. Uh, we could we could night battle it. Apparently, it's not quite in our favor. I'm... Yeah, I, I, I don't think it's going to be a problem. Um, all right, just looking at the map here. We're attacking the settlement... Whichever side they should be coming in over on our left. Right. Right, right, right. We don't have an Onager, though. We don't have an Onager. But let's do this. In we go. As always, thank you for your advice, comments, tactics, and suggestions. Also, thanks everyone that's answering the questions. It's, it's super interesting to read all your kind of favorite characters and favorite generals uh, from history. Uh, I'll try and pick some out if we've got some kind of time uh, throughout the battles and, and what have you in the episode today. But the question I'm going to pose to you guys today, I know we already talked about what features um, in, a, in a previous episode, what features you'd like to see added into a Total War for both battle and campaign. But what features, are there any features you'd like to see removed from Total War games going forward? We'll risk a wait here. Yes, perfect. But yeah, is there any feature, battle or campaign, or is there a feature from both that you'd actually like to see get discontinued? Or, or do you feel there's a feature that really does need a massive overhaul and rework to make it kind of viable to keep it um, in the series? Let me know your answer to that down in the comment section. Uh, greatly appreciated. Um, so, if I've calculated this correctly, their reinforcements should come in over there, um, which I'd, I'd like to try and take them out before we move into the city because we might even be able to draw them out. So what I'm thinking is, actually, let's hide everybody in the trees. And let's try that today. This might not work at all, but let's let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Go pop these guys in groups of three. I'm not worrying about a proper formation at the moment for these guys. Just it's about making sure they're all hidden within the trees so that one isn't hidden. Spreading them out a little bit more. Nope. In we go. There we go. Uh, missile units. Uh, yeah, so I really... I kind of want to get rid of these levies. I need to tweak uh, Thilico's army soon. I mean, we we're waiting for the Balisari. But... Um, yeah, we've got to keep on upgrading stuff. I reckon you guys can fit in the little patch there, surely. Come on. Okay, I've got to put you guys one in front of another. General, chill there. And then you guys got that. There we go. Right now, it's completely hidden. Let's hope the reinforcements come in over here as expected. 
Sometimes they redeploy elsewhere if you deploy too close to the settlement. I think that's how it works. But, um... Yeah, sometimes they bamboozled me. No, they're coming in where I expected them. Huzzah! Right, now we march forward and we break them. <laughs> oh, yes. Smart Heart X10. Which, for a Monday morning, you know, I'm... Uh... <laughs> Must have a pat on the back for that. This might well draw them out from the settlement. If it does, that is fine. Happy days. Keep moving, guys. Keep moving. Where's their cavalry? This is going to be the bloody battle dealing with this army. I kind of feel like we need to actually just pop them like so. Not too worried if we end up losing my cavalry here. Let's just draw them to us. Right, I'm going into them now because we've got support from the crossbows coming up. So I want to... Um, yeah, they're pulling back. They're pulling back. We've got their melee cap coming in over here. Scout equities. Just got to pull them in so that my cross go cr cross goes cross bows can fire. Not the cross goes. All right, shuffle. Okay, cavalry's gonna get hit there. Loop it round and him in the back. Go. Javis, I'm going to take you off fire at will. Legio's moving into position. We'll be able to actually flank around them. They are sending their troops out. This is what I wanted. That's good. These guys are getting flanked, though. So even though they're doing big damage on the scout equites, they're going to struggle. Oh, and you guys are saying don't do whistling shot over your own units, Lionheart, because it will affect them as well. Which is fair. Alright, push forward here. Okay, now go to the next cavalry unit. If they're coming in. I'm not worrying about our right for the moment. It's risky. I know. I know. You guys keep chasing them. Keep them busy. And we need to get all of you guys into uh, Testudo. Silico. Raise your melee defense. Should just have you over here. Yeah, javelins go up here because we're about to lose my cavalry, but that's that's fine. They've served their purpose. Yeah, javelin away into the mess. So they're actually they're actually trying to get away from me right now. I've just seen what they're doing. Push forward. I've just realized they're making a break for it for the settlement. Sneaky. I'm leaving this one forward. Try and pin them. I'm watching that cavalry over there. Have the crossbows deploy to deal with that. Send the Legio in. Keep chasing those slingers away. Oh, just in time. General, just watch him. Just watch him. Move on over. Yeah, they've been they've been got. Push in on the flanks. I can't really do much about the things until they run out of ammo. I could try and push them away.
Right, they've got more spears coming in here. The reinforcements focus your fire on them. General. You just chase them away. You pull up there because these guys are going to engage there. Well, oh, you guys are holding like champs here. Once we shatter this bit, we're going to roll on down the flank though. general in the mix there we go and now to roll down this line properly we need to just get the kind of pull back get ready for the wind up you guys have had yourself pulled apart move on in yeah, we're gonna lose about a thousand or so with this get the general in there Annihilate them. Our crossbows are just beautiful. Move forward. Um, well, actually, yeah. Don't go. Don't just go through all of them. Yeah, they've got the axes and stuff in there. That's why they're uh, doing so much damage. Obidi oh, Armas, the enemy general is dead. Well, that's one of them anyway. That's the one that came out from the garrison, because that's the one we were actually attacking. There must be one in here. Yes. The Sextus. And hit all of them. Have we got the raised banner yet? Yeah. Boom. Push. Bring them down, bring them down, bring them down. Go after those archers. You chase them down. We just need to get the win here to, to crack the the garrison. It's the other arm, the reinforcing army that we're not going to do so well on. I'm going to see if there's a way, if there's someone that we can subjugate here, I might try and do that actually. But they're Western Roman rebels, so they won't, that won't work, will it? All right, pull them back. I'm not going to chase them because we're going to get hit by those towers. We don't want extra losses if we can help it. So I'm a little bit worried because I can't see who where other enemies are lying in the in the fog of war here. So I'm a little bit concerned about pushing kind of a bit too much. Did fairly well though. All things considered, considering we're facing off against Roman troops as well, so we're fairly evenly matched in terms of unit strength. One thousand and fifty-eight lost. Yeah, my infantry, there's enough of them in there to hold a line if we need to. Obviously, the cavalry got wrecked, but they, they did what they needed to do. They neutralized the enemy cavalry threat. Pretty nicely. Those crossbows, 206. We just lose the cav. They've lost most of that force. Wow, okay. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't subjugate it. Um, so I will, I will just occupy. Because I've probably still got to hunt that army down, which I can't move this turn. Uh, they've got forces there coming on in. If they come in and attack us, though, we know we can defend. We know we can defend, so that's that's fine. I would love to have enough cash to get some mercenary cab, but we can't do any of that. We don't have enough money for it. Uh, right, technology. What did we actually just finish doing? Was it some economic stuff? I know what I'm going to research next. Don't worry. Uh, here we go. So we got the wealth from agriculture and the cattle pens tier three. You guys are saying that I need to go for getting that as soon as possible because that allows us to get the skirmisher barracks which is what i really need um so we've got to get that first the battle movement and then that's just a single turn costing us 20 uh yeah 2500 so what i won't i won't queue that up i'll just go for this one first and then we'll get that 
the yeah, loads of you guys were like, just just get that one while you can, Lionheart. And then then once you've got that, like, all the other stuff is really nice. You get Legio Commerce Tenses up here. All the other stuff is good, but then you can actually, if you want to, then invest in some of the civil stuff because just that will give you enough of a, it'll unlock enough of our troops to deal with what's to come because we're soon going to start facing stronger enemies. So we want that. Um, general, right. Um, oh, perfect. Yeah, both points into replenishment. Lovely. Lovely, Silico. I'm um, just thinking in terms of characters. Oh, look, we're balanced. Yeah, so we're now at plus two loyalty and minus one uh, tax rate. That's, I mean, there's respectable, which is minus one public order, which probably at the moment we don't really want any hit to a public order. I mean, okay, the hit to our tax isn't great. You only want absolute power when we've got the whole empire really solidly locked down. So actually, this is where we want to be right now. I was thinking about adopting Hilarious, though, once uh, one of the wives gets enough influence. I think we would need 50, don't we? So it'll be her, uh, Maria. Um... Yeah, we need to be 50 for that. So it'll be, I think she only gains like two per turn, one per turn. Hilarious. There is this guy, Flavius uh, Neoterius. But I think, I think Hilarious, I mean, look at that Hilarious, the Hilarious uh, mustache he's got going on as well. I think he deserves it. Uh, and it is Hilarious that we're going to be bringing down to help us out. So let's just get Hilarious to knock these rebels away. Yeah, I thought they might run. Uh, we want to get him into the water and get him moving. I don't really want to, but seeing as actually we're not going to be able to move any further... We will probably be able to force march him back in thought. We might as well see these rebels off. Um, I am going to fight this one just because we, we want to minimize casualties as much as we can so that they're fighting fit when they get to Berdigala. Oh, I hate forests, though. Ugh. Forests, go home. Oh, fog as well. Try and wait for a day. No, we're fighting the fog. We are fighting in the fog. Saw someone over there, didn't I? Or was I imagining that? Did I just... <laughs> hmm. Did I imagine that? Or were there actually some enemies over there? Where is some nice clear terrain in this map? There's a clearing here. So let's try and move to that. In fact, we can already deploy some of my troops over here. So that's what I'm going to do with you guys have you have you lot as a, a forward scout force for me my skirmishing vanguard the main force move up here i've got the onager as well got a fair bit of cavalry which actually can do that um the vanguard or guerrilla deployment they can go up there Yep, right. We'll tell you guys to move forward first. I mean, those skirmishers actually need to just get grouped in with you guys. Yeah, I thought I'd spotted some. There we go. So they're over this way. Try and just draw them out or scare them with the cavalry there a little bit. Spears. Onager. General and friends. And these guys. Mm. Just tweak their positioning a little bit. As you command. Going for the winged winged flank formation. I think it's kind of like my staple. That's another question I could ask you guys, actually. Favorite formation. But not today. Maybe another time. I actually do need some more question suggestions. I'm feeling like I'm starting to run out with some stuff, but I want to keep these questions coming because they're super interesting. And I'm not going to lie, they're great for video engagement. So, you know, gets you guys talking, helps out the video. You guys enjoy it. I enjoy it. What's there to lose? Right, there is there is an Onager over there. Oh, now, now I should have paid more attention to what units they've got. They've got the Scout over here. I think have they got some of that Lancer cavalry. Maybe. Yes, they do have an Onager. Forward. Forward. Oh, they're firing. All squiffy, aren't they? Yes. Oh, caught you there. Nice. All right. Well, that Onager crew is dying. They've got... There we go. 
these guys are like the Lancer Cav. Right, well, we're now behind them. Well, oh, they're sending cavalry out this way. Go after them there, please. There we go. Send in my cavalry to support. In fact, just turn you around because you're there. Javelin them. Real good. Real good javelins. Not quite enough. Oh, the enemy general's back here, though. That's fun. I'm not going to worry about you, though. They went straight in for the general. Keen. Oh, I just realized the, the honor goes just got into position. I should have left that way further back. Go. Skirmishes. Blank. I'll do. Honor, I'm just going to tell you to go back. And send these guys in while they're all caught out. Beautiful. We want to try and kill them all here. They didn't have an advantage. <laughs> what are you chatting game? They didn't have one to start with. Nonsense is this. Enemies having advantages. Love these guys in square formation. Just got the general to find. I was like, why am they throwing? It's because I haven't told them to fire it well. There we go. I turned them off. So they wouldn't accidentally kill the general or something like that. Oh, there's the murdering. There's the jab murder. Yeah, if you could stop firing now, because otherwise I will not have any, any spears left. Thank you, please. You can throw at them. Okay, we gotta go try and find that general now. Unless he's not given up yet. Six of them left. Nice. Oh, they've gone. It's gonna be over the back skulking, isn't he? Yep. He's waving like crazy. Oh, to be fair, all we need him to do is break, then I can just murder him with my cav. With charges. Can the Onaga fire there, I wonder? No, he needs to move up a bit. the range of that. Oh, wow. Yeah, I can't. Nowhere close. Okay, just just chill there. Fast forward a little bit.
Yeah, mum. Gotta keep my other cavalry close, because if they break and they're this close to the red line, then we're in trouble. Okay. Bring him down, bring him down, bring him down. Any of you guys have any abilities? No. Throw the cavalry in there. There we go. I'll fire at will. We'll make sure he's dead and gone. Although it'll die once we see the general. It comes up saying the general's dead. It's going to be like the last one there, isn't he? Yep. Of course. Boom. Nice. Down you go. That's them wiped out. Yes, I'll take that replenishment. Can't actually get any further movement, but... I could stick around, but I, I need to get going. So, I'm just going to get them. It's going to take me three turns to get to Berdigala. Berdigala on its own, though... It's got walls and it's got a little bit of a navy coming in. It should be able to hold them off. It should give me the three turns I need. Um, how are we doing here? Oh, minus 39. Why is that? Why is it? Is that because of instability? Raiding, banditry. Are they technically raiding? No, they were raiding, weren't they? Okay, it's all, it's all kicking. That's, that's terrible because we're going to have another rebellion in like two turns. I thought there was like a conquest penalty going on somewhere. Immigrants and stuff like that. Is that because it's been sacked? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, that's fine. We can catch up with the Camelodonum. It's, it's it's probably these guys hitting Camelodonum as well, actually. That's the instability. Yeah, of course, that's where the instability comes from. Right. I am going to go and attack these guys with uh, Sexus Perennius. In we go. They're going to run, aren't you? Ah, oh, you cheeky sods. Ah, you little buggers running across there. Not cool. Okay, well, they've already run, so let's kill them off. Oh, yeah. We can, we can auto resolve that one. Oh, that is, that is sneaky. Oh, I'm not a fan of that. <sighs> Part of me is thinking go and defend Camelodonum, but no, we need to get back up here. You sods. You sods. All right, we've got all the replenishment. Um, we want to get to. Actually, the capital movement range. For that, we need to go through this line. Although, let's, let's, no, let's reset that. Let's not go through, was it ships first? Yeah, let's go through cavalry commander first. And then we pop point in that next turn and we get this one, which is plus 10% and plus three melee attack for commander force, which is beautiful. You'll definitely get that. Right. Is that all the battles I need to fight? Possibly. I've got these guys chilling over here, recruiting on. Uh, oh, no, of course we need to move these guys. Very important. We move these guys up to Ravenna. We're going to ignore them for now. Hope that we can defeat them when they come and attack the settlement. So this army should, 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 should be able to reclaim Aquilia. Hopefully for his next turn. I'm just hoping that we don't get screwed over here. Because I can't really... I mean, I could abandon Octodurum. Maybe I should have... The thing is, if I raise it... That's, that's bad, isn't it? Although we don't hold any of the other regions. Actually, yeah, I probably should have raised it, shouldn't I? If I abandon it, though, it goes bad. Oh, yeah, I really should have raised that one. And they just be back on my doorstep anyway, though. So we might as well make a stand here, I guess, if we can. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's just double check. See if anyone wants to trade. The Swabians are improving. Okay. Give it a few more turns. We might be able to get that. We might be able to get that. Septimania. Septimania. However, you, however I say you. In the name of the state, welcome. Ah. Oh, high trade chance. Nice. Oh, and then we get... There's the non-aggression. Just because eventually, 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 we will work out stuff. And probably take them out. But right now, give me all that loot. 
flapping tongue that speaks without yes now we've got trade with them that's going to help out our income nicely two trade agreements Daisha, you're over there you're at war with a lot of people i trust you bring okay let's see if is it the jutes isn't it the jutes that are over in my lands gods of the afterlife spare my ass <laughs> my time is spirit Cordians have got a lot of land. Come, come, let me hear your talk. I need to start seeing the Huns going after going after everyone. They're not at war with us yet, but soon they will. Illyri I wonder if Illyria. Do not waste time on pleasant. Again, they'd act as a nice little shield around me. I have little gain in wasting the day on you. How are the Vandals feeling? Because they're going to they're gonna kick off. They're going to kick off. They're improving, though. So maybe we've got lucky. I swear they normally declare war on you and take Africa from you. I'm at war with Africa. Speak quickly. I think that's all we can do, though. That's all we can do. Our Saxons, maybe? Gods of the afterlife. Hmm. Spare my... What about Gaul? Gaul, you want to... You're pretty strong, though. You're going to be like, nah, we don't want to peace out. I want to kill you. Cool. Well, that was good. Um... Get everything repaired there. Need to build in here. We probably need to build in food, I'd have thought. Because we've got the or is it the aqueduct? It's probably the aqueduct we need there, isn't it? Repair my wheat fields. My fields are wheat. Uh are we are we rich here? Yes, we are. Rich. Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, so much plague. So much pestilence. Can I pop in a mercenary unit here? Yes, but I need more money. Okay. Um, can we, do we need to repair anything over here? Let's head back over this way. Camden Donham, there's no point because you're going to get hit again. Linden, we'd need to, but we can't right now. And we finally got Tusis converting on over and getting stuff over there. We've got the waterworks in, so that's fine. You're at minus nine. We need to, we've got the forum in there. Well, that one goes up to, yeah, the auditorium. That's a good one to throw in there. Okay, there's, there's food consumption, but that's, that's, we can manage that. Um, Iboricum, you are minus 29, and it's because there's been sacking going on and all that. We are getting a rally field. Why are we getting a rally field there? I guess to recruit more units. That makes sense. Uh, Reservoir gives a public order sanitation to all regions in this province. Good. Um, so that solves the sanitation. That is giving us a little bit more public order. So if anything, we need the forum in next. I'm kind of thinking we should get that rather than the rally field, to be perfectly honest. So we're able to hold with what we've got. Although, no, actually, we, we did have the Legio recruitment from there for quite some time, didn't we? That's fine. That's fine. Okay, right. Let's end the turn. Oh, we can do an edict of Africa. Do we really want to do that? Is that our is that top one? Yeah, it's in the top ones. We can do an edict. Um, How can we do an edict when that's not held by us? Do you not need to hold all the regions? Yeah, fair enough. Uh, what's up with you guys? Everything's up with you guys. We've got rebellions. Um... What is our... Are we Christian? We are. Food, we've got plenty of food. Corruption. Um, research for civic developments. Let's go for reducing corruption. That kind of feels like the best one to go for right now. Right. In turn. Yeah, people are dying. Good to know. Going through some of your comments to find some of your favorite characters from history. Harold Hardrada. Yeah, quite a few saying that. Napoleon came up quite a few times. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is what I was worried about. Ah, two armies. No. Oh, this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. This is their general. Uh, that's, their, that's their king. Yeah, the general and their king. Uh, yeah, yeah. Scavenger mob. Okay. We are battered and broken, but we must hold. Otherwise, we lose Stilico. In we go. Yeah, Harold Hardrada, Napoleon. Lord Nelson. 
I like Bill's Bill's comment. Currently, my girlfriend is my favorite person for person from all of history. She's pretty damn cool. Well, there we go. There we go. Some David Attenborough love in the in the comment section. I love that. Achilles and Leonidas. Uh, I don't need to talk. They are just legends. Very true. Right. Clench thy asses. We've got to try and hold here. We can try and hold up. Like we can put our broken troops in here. We've got to try and break these guys before those reinforcements come on in. Coming over here, we could we could try and do the murder channel a little bit to draw, draw them in and then counter on out. I kind of feel like that might not be the worst thing in the world. Put them in there and I'm actually going to give them a unit of archers down here to replace them once they run out. Then I have to, the problem is we have to give away one of our really good, one of our few spear units. But we're going to, we're going to try this, see if creating a little bit down here will work. We've got a lot of Legio still, though. We've got a lot of Legio, and we just need to funnel the gaps. Funnel the gaps. Please don't say I've just thrown Silico to his death here. We're definitely going to have to pull him back after this. Oh, I just realized as well. Um, I pulled them back. You know what? Actually, I won't put the archers. We'll put the javelins in them. There we go. I like so. You chill that. Um, we don't have any cavalry to go out and break them, and they've got an Onigar. Although, when I say we don't have any cavalry, we have got this unit of cavalry, so you're going to serve me well, dang it. You're going to go take that out. Sharpstone bed. Caltrops. Stop them just charging and flanking that way eventually. I really do hope they just come charging through there because otherwise I'm screwed. Right away putting everybody else. cycle down here so we need to have I don't feel here you need to you need one over here and then you've got to watch that flank so I won't put a full unit so I'll just put them there they can go around this way so I'll probably have my general ready to reinforce Two archers there. Another archer unit, I think, back over here. And we've got some spears in case they charge with cav. Oh, no, wait. That one's got to go there. Back up unit. Just have it here. Right. Oh, ho, ho, this is going to be dicey. Here we go. Please just charge. Just don't wait for your reinforcements. Enemy reinforcements have been spotted. Oh, and they're coming up from this way. Okay. Uh, that's fine. We can still make this work. We've just got to wipe these guys out quickly. Ah, oh, they do have cavalry. Ah, oh, rip. My tower's gone. Oh, I really need the power of the tower. Gotta wait for that cavalry to go in before we can move in for that. Send that cavalry in, dang it. Yep. Right, my cavalry can go. may have spotted me, but we might be able to just get the charge in there to neutralize them. Bombata. 
You need to do another volley off. Come on, guys. There you go. Okay. Enemy general is there. Take him out. And fire it well on your reloads. Yeah, I definitely should have had those spears over there. My cavalry's still holding somehow. Yeah, I don't know how it's doing that. That's crazy. Right, on you guys. Hold, 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 hold. Right, they're down. Or on the general. Once the general dies, that should help us a lot. And we can then turn to face these guys. They've got an onager as well. That'll never get into the fight in time. Fire on these guys. Right, they're out of ammo. Go kill them. Get over here quick. Don't break him. Javelins do a volley. Yeah, now on that general. Come on, kill him. General back in. Archers backing up over here because we're going to need to have everybody over this side. Come on. Crossbows get in there. Bring that general down. Come on. Come on. Kill him. He's routed, but we need him dead. The enemy refuses to admit defeat. Their unit has rallied. Come on. Come on. Kill that general. Yes, enemy general's dead. The enemy general is dead. Come into That's good. That's good. We've just got to break these guys. Last one there. I'm out of ammo. back over this way to help support. Break these guys. Right, you guys come back. You need to watch that side so that's all protected. Oh, come on. Come on, we can win this. Still a co will not fall this day. Come on. You come on. 
I just had a thought they might try and go around and get to the barricade because the, the AI is derpy like that. Just wondering if it might be worth putting some archers in to shoot more of them and then pop you guys down here again. I think it will be, because I think the AI sort of seeks out barricades to go destroy. Do need to get some leggy over there to support, though. come down this way. That is their other general. Okay, I've got to I've got to push out against these guys to run them away, to chase them down. I also need my archers to chase them. Once they're engaged, then they're in trouble. Barricade here. It's looking too far away. Still doing a good job, though. Push, 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 push. Ants power swinging off. Yeah, we have destroyed them. Okay, it's 97%. It is about to go down. A couple of volleys. So, yeah, keep them busy outside so my archers can shoot them in the back. They can't actually attack the barricade. Boom, boom, boom. All right, is that the general? It is. Yeah, kill him. Bring him down. He's the one we need to murder because that should see the rest of their force cripple and break because this is all they've got left. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. But, yeah, then I'm getting Silico out of here. <laughs> Because this this boy has fought hard. Oh my days. Come on, javelin him in the back. Oh, we just got wrecked by some archers. Chase him down, guys. All of you guys go that way. You chase that one down. Oh, boy. Just hope there's nobody else coming after us, though. Because otherwise that is a, a big rip. 
It's dangerous having our backs to them right now, but if we can get a good throw in here. Come on. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. One more volley. They're throwing now. A couple of them. Right, in you go. So turn it around just to catch them. That's all we need to do. Just catch them. They've all broken over that way. You guys got there. Just got that honor going to go take take out. Um, that could actually be tricky if it doesn't break. Oh, boy. Oh, I was really worried going into this. I was thinking, oh, my days. We've lost. We've lost um, Stilico. I really don't want to lose Stilico. I mean, if he's got to go down, holding out here, what a way to go, but... rather not lose him yet okay we lost some spears they were broken yeah that's it victory i'm gonna chase though just if we can clear a few more of these away it means they're less likely to come and attack us again we've still actually got a little reasonable contingent of force as well so as long as there's not another full stack that comes and gets us i reckon we'll hold and we'll be okay Let's kill off these guys until they're completely gone. Right, yeah, that's that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Ay, ay, ay. We lost 785. That's not bad, actually. They lost 3,268. Damn. So, we actually, we only lost two units completely. One unit of Combatant Spears and one unit of Legio. Uh, yeah, I will be taking that replenishment, thanks. And they lost both their generals. Please, no one else come and attack me. Please, no one else come and attack me. It's like if the Illyrians suddenly show up with an army, then I'm going to just be really scared. Please don't do it. Please don't do it. Where are the Geats going? That's good. So it's the Geats down there, and it's the Geats up here. So you're going to go hit Lindum. Of course you are. Um, right, rip public order, but we don't need to fight that one. My army should be able to deal with these guys unless they run away again. That's their king. So actually, if we're careful here, we could probably take out one of these subjects. <laughs> that was a smart move. That was a smart move. Subjugate it. That's actually... Does that reset the public order? So maybe actually that's a good thing for me. It gives me some time. Where? Who are these guys? The Starnians. They're having a good old think. They're coming in to hit us at Verona. Um, we've got our other army coming on in, which will be able to break these guys. But I do feel like... Oh, of course, it's the bridge. Yeah. Uh, I think just for the bridge alone, knowing what we can do there, we should fight this one, have another bridge battle at Verona, which we'll open next episode with. So until then, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, take pride on the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, Games Planet and Overclocks UK. Till the next one, ciao for now.